Highlands and Islands. Update. With the latest, I'm Chris McLennan. Concerns have been raised about radiography cover at a hospital in the Western Isles. It is understood a number of patients waiting for x-rays at the US Dimbara Hospital were affected over the period of a weekend last month, with some left waiting until the Tuesday morning as no radiographer was on duty. The group are now preparing to make a formal complaint to NHS Western Isles. The health board says it has not changed or reduced the resources available and says clear clinical management protocols are in place. Western Isles MSP Alistair Allen says he is hopeful for the future of the Arnish Fabrication Yard in Lewis as its owner seeks new investment. Harland and Wolfe is not believed to be in administration, but a restructuring process is taking place. The yard employs 145 people at its Lewis base. Mr Allen says he is encouraged to hear efforts are being made to secure the future of the yard. There is still a workforce working away, a very skilled workforce, and one, as I say, that's very important in this constituency. So... Yes, I'm more optimistic than I was. It's been a very worrying time with with the workforce having to digest the the level of speculation there's been in the media. But I I, I hope this attempt to bring new finance into the company now bears fruit and that we see a, a more stable future. Police have launched an investigation after fires were started in the grounds of a Sutherland church. The incidents at Dorna Cathedral happened overnight on Wednesday between 11pm and Thursday morning at 8.30 this week. Police are asking anyone with any information on the incidents to get in touch. Sport Now and Open golfer Bob McIntyre, fresh off winning the Scottish Open last week, opened the Open at Royal Troon with a 1 over 72 yesterday. Near an amateur Callum Scott went one better, shooting a first round level par. Both returned to the course today, Scott just before midday and McIntyre at 2.37 as they bid to avoid tonight's cut. And that's your BBC News for the Highlands and Islands.